All right, so my name is Jenna. Thanks for joining Functional Friday again. So last week we focused a little bit more on our upper body, and this week we're gonna do a little bit more hips. We're still gonna do some upper body stuff, but we're gonna be focusing on that first. So we're gonna be on the ground. If you don't have the option to be on the ground, you can do it on the chair, and I'll verbally tell you how to do it on the chair. And then next week, if you guys preferred it, we're gonna go and do it back in the chair. So hopefully you feel relaxed after this session and let's go ahead and get started. So for today, I want us to think of the intention of where we're feeling super tight and stressed. So it kind of plays off of what AJ did this week in that we're gonna take three deep breaths and with those breaths, I want you to focus on where you're feeling that tightness. Is it in the legs? Is it in the hips, the lower back, maybe in the stomach, the chest, the head, the jaw, the shoulders? Where are we feeling it? And noting that so while we're stretching and then ideally by the end you won't feel as tight in those areas all right let's go ahead and get started find a comfortable seated position i'm gonna do crisscross but if you guys want to be out or up against a wall then that is totally fine we're gonna place one hand on the tummy one hand on the chest and from here when we take deep breaths we're going to do it for a count of three out or count of three in holding and then a count of three out and when you do this, I want you to really expand your tummy. So I want us to take a deep breath. We're always trying to suck in. We're always putting stress in our stomach and tension in our lower back and air in our tummy. So let's take deep breaths here. Getting started, breathing in, placing one hand on the stomach. Three, two, one, holding, breathing out. Three, two, one. Where are you feeling the tension? Is it the shoulders? Is it the hips? Is it the lower back? Breathing in. Three, two, one. Holding. Breathing out. Three, two, one. Good, let's do one more time. Relax the shoulders, drop the jaw, set our intention for this 10 to 15 minute stretch. Breathing in. Three, two, one. Allow your hand to expand with the belly. Hold. Breathing out. Three, two, one. Good. Okay. We're going to start how we started last time, just to get the shoulders a little bit warm. We're going to take our yoga strap, if you have it. Again, if you don't have a yoga strap, that's okay. We use a towel. From here, at the end of the yoga strap, we're going to go all the way back and then come forward. And if this feels too tight while you try to keep your arms straight, that's okay. Then just reach for more of the band. So have your arms wider. If it's too easy, just bring them in closer. So let's go 10 times here. And I do this before I work out every time I do upper body day. So if it looks easy for me, that's okay. It's just because I do it a lot. And it used to be crooked and sideways and my arms weren't straight. So it just takes time, takes practice. Again, going off of what AJ said about meditation is stretching is great to do every day and it only takes 10 to 15 minutes to get a good stretch. And after this session, you'll probably notice how much looser you feel. Your mind is a little bit calmer and that's what we want. So, all right, let's do three more times. We're about to count again. One, two, you should feel a stretch in your shoulders, maybe a little bit in your lower back, in your neck, in your upper back. All right, relax. Taking a deep breath here. Okay, you're gonna take your yoga strap. We are going to be lying down for this part. And so what I want you to do, if it's not already in the little loops, I want you to take the end of the strap, place it through one of the loops, and then pull through. So that way you have a bigger loop at the bottom. All right, from here, you're going to place this loop on one of your feet. And we did the seated last time. So if you need to do the seated, you can. All you do is stay sitting in the chair, copy what I do, so straighten the leg, and then you'll stay in that upright position. From here, the loop is gonna go on the arch of your foot. Your foot. We're going to make sure that we have lots of space behind us. Don't hit your head on anything. Good. And from here, leg can be straight or it can be slightly bent. However, I don't want you to ignore the leg that's on the ground. I want you to press this leg into the ground, keep the quad kind of active, and then let's go take our attention back over to the leg with the band on it, stretching all the way back as far as you can. 
And if the leg is bent here, then you might feel a little bit more stress in the hip. If the leg is straight, then you're gonna feel this a little bit more in the hamstrings, the back of the leg and the calf. All right, guys, so remember to breathe here. And remember, we want it to be a little bit uncomfortable. So I don't want you to have pain, but stretching shouldn't be su super passive. We really wanna pull the leg back. We wanna find those kind of crickety areas in our body and work on them. All right, relaxing a little bit. We're gonna keep it on this foot. And what you're gonna do is allow your leg to fall over your other body that's on the ground. Now, if this feels too tight for you, then you can loosen your grip a little bit on the band, but allow your leg to fall as far to the ground as it will allow. Again, let's try and straighten the leg for this one and pull the toes back. Nice job, you guys. Hopefully you can see me. Um, if you can't, then this is like what I'm doing, going over my body like this. So holding for about 30 seconds with each of our exercises, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, and just feeling the tension and tightness in our glutes, our lower back, our hips. Everything we feel within this stretch should be right in this area, as well as our lower back. All right, let's switch slowly. You can stay lying down. So yeah, with stretching 20 to 30 seconds is ideal. You can always do longer than that in yoga, the whole pose is longer, but hold at least 20 to 30 seconds with every stretch so that way the central nervous system can relax. So switching sides, placing the loop on our foot. If you need to come up into a seated position to do that, you can. Let's pull this leg back as far as we can, trying to keep this other leg on the ground. Now, if you want to, and you don't have a band, you can, I should have said this at the beginning, but you can just grab your leg and pull it back, or you can grab your hamstring and pull it back here. Nice job, you guys. Pulling on the band, breathing in, breathing out. Noticing where you feel tight. All right, and let's lean over our body again, and let that leg cross over and Place that leg as far down to the ground as you can. Remember crossing over your body, keeping the toes pulled back so we get a nice stretch in our calves, in our glutes, in our lower back. A little bit of the hip. And let's breathe. Breathing in. Breathing out. Find your relaxed setting. Good job, you guys. Again, if you don't have a band for this, you can just place your leg over the body and that's also a great stretch no matter what. So the band just helps us get a little bit more uncomfortable. All right, let's slowly sit up. You can put the band away or place it next to you. We're gonna come into a comfortable position again, just like we started. And what we're gonna do is move up the body a little bit. So we're gonna get a little bit more of those hips as well as the obliques. And we did this in the chair last week, so this is another variation if you want to just do the stretch. So what you're going to do is place your elbow, if you can, on the ground next to your hip. If you can't get that far down, you can just place your hand here, and we're going to reach over, keeping the palm facing down, eyes looking up here, so that way we're not rounding in our back too much, and we're protecting our lower back, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. You should feel all of this down the side of your body, in our shoulder, our obliques, a little bit of our hips as well, reaching as far as you can through the opposite wall. Breathing out. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. You can go down to the forearm if you want to. Again, you can go on the hand if you're unable to, reaching all the way over the head Really, really trying to reach towards the opposite wall so you feel a nice lengthening stretch in our obliques. This area tends to get ignored. We tend to stretch our hips and our shoulders, but we don't really take care of the side of the body. So this is gonna help keep our spine in alignment, going to help us from having tight hips if that's an issue. Breathing in and out. Nice job, you guys. For those I can see, you guys look really good. 
All right, we're gonna move up the body a little bit, placing our hand behind our head. What I like to do is cross my fingers together like this. And what you're going to do here is, I don't want you to really force your neck into your head because that puts strain in our traps in our shoulders. But I want you to try and sit up as straight as you can, belly button tucked into the spine, and pull your elbows back to the wall. So our head isn't doing too much. We're just pulling our elbows back Remembering to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now, one thing to think about is stretching is great. That could be the first piece for you if that's something we don't have a habit of doing yet. However, if we want to get rid or at least help some ailments or muscle pains, we also need to do some strengthening. So stretching and strengthening, combine the two and you're gonna feel a lot better instead of just doing one or the other. So instead of just stretching or just strengthening. All right, so what we're gonna do is stay in this position. I know it's a little bit uncomfortable, but we're going to rock the head from side to side. Should feel a good stretch in the shoulders and in the neck. Remember, don't press your head against your arms. Just try and pull your elbows back as far as you can. Remembering to breathe with every head turn. We do a lot of sitting. This is a simple exercise you can do just in the middle of the day if we're feeling really tight. About 10 times here. Let's do two more. One, turning nice and slow. And two. Big overhead reach. Shoulders should be burning a little bit. That's what we want. All right, let's do some shoulder shrugs. So bringing the shoulders up to the neck and then dropping them kind of fast. We're activating the muscles a little bit here and then we're trying to relax. Bring them up, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Three, two, one, and pull down. Just let them drop and release. We usually feel a lot of tension in our shoulders and in our neck, so this could be a good exercise to just get all of the tension. Let's go up together. Three, two, one and release that tension. Nice job, you guys. Let's do it again. Up, three, two, one, and release. Nice job. Notice how you're feeling. Are your hips a little bit looser? Is your stomach maybe feeling more calm? We're not having too much anxiety there. Coming up, three, two, one, and relax. All right, guys. This is just a reminder for our posture too throughout the day. Let's make sure that we're staying nice and straight. However, we keep our core engaged, belly button to the spine as we sit and as we go throughout our day. So our lower back, our shoulders don't have any pain. All right, guys, let's finish up. One hand on the chest, one hand on the tummy. And let's breathe just like we did at the beginning. Except this time, I want you to notice how you're feeling after the stretch. For a count of three, breathing in, three, two, one, hold, breathing out, three, two, one, let your hips sink down, let your shoulders sink, breathing in, three, two, one, breathing out, three, two, one, notice how you feel, trying to push all the air out as we breathe out, Breathing in, three, two, one, expand the belly, hold, breathing out, three, two, one. All right, nice job guys, shake it out. Yeah, everything we did today, you can do in the chair. So if you wanted to do the first stretch, you can sit in the stretch and then just bend over a little bit. If you wanna do your arm stretches, you can do your overhead reaches, everything you can do in the chair. So nice job, you guys. I'll see you guys next week, hopefully. And don't forget, we have Wakeful Wednesday for our live event next week. And then we also, and remember just Movement Monday is our next event. So don't be afraid to post your steps, post a short video of you working out. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Nice job.